This is a large cemetery for such a small town. And old. You once told us that some of the gravestones date back hundreds of years. But I didn't make a habit of hanging out in cemeteries when you were doing the telling. Believe me, I'd rather have been anywhere else. Did you know I arrived alone on that first day? Pascal Bender and Merrily Takahashi were supposed to meet me at one o'clock by the Iron Gate. There I stood. It was three minutes past one, and then it started to rain. The first raindrops plopped against the grave markers, which teetered this way and that over the lumpy ground. I was sure that even a ghost could knock down some of them, just by floating past at sunset. Sorry, I know how you felt about ghosts, and vampires, and zombies. I could see that there were different types of stones, brown, white, bluish gray, but I didn't know which was which. And all those carved symbols on the stones? Well, the angels were easy to spot. Their rings were a dead giveaway, but I didn't know what the other symbols meant, like the ones with clasping hands or a baby lamb. And all those skulls and crossbones? I was sure that meant the cemetery was full of dead pirates. When Pascal and Marily didn't show up, I thought I must be waiting in the wrong section. I was standing in the oldest part of the cemetery, where the stones were covered in lichen and eroded words. Maybe we were supposed to start in the newer section and work our way backwards through time. I didn't know where the newer part of the cemetery might be. I certainly didn't know who would be buried there. You.